we like to believe, I think, that, that no matter what, our souls will just retain this sort of beautiful, connected, life-filled way of being, right? That they'll be fine, right? It doesn't really matter. They'll just keep chugging along. But a soul is like anything else. A soul is like any other part of us. It's fragile. It needs to be tended. It needs to be loved. Sometimes it needs to be healed. I think we like to believe that no matter what, our soul or caring for our soul, that can wait. When things slow down, when the kids are bigger, when money is not so tight, when things feel a little more spacious, then we'll tend to sort of the optional things like souls. We think they'll just probably be fine until we have the time or the space or the inclination to really pay attention to whatever's happening on the inside. But what I realized that day in Dallas was that I had left my own soul untended for so long. And the damage I did was starting to spread itself all through all the different parts of my life. I know it shouldn't have surprised me, this distance between what I, the way I wanted to live and the, the condition in which I ultimately found my soul that day in Dallas. It shouldn't have surprised me because I know better than this. I know that our souls never thrive, never flourish, never grow in deep and beautiful ways when we've lived lives where we've stopped paying attention to them. Mm -hmm.